hello guys welcome back again in this video i'm going to talk about on activity result and this is another crucial method of the activity class because whenever we launch an activity from another activity let's say activity a is launching activity b so the activity b is visible but if we press the back button then simply that activity b will be destroyed right but at the same time on activity result will be fired up from activity a i think before on resume callbacks so just give it a try implement all the activity lifecycle methods and see when the on activity result gets called another cool thing about this on activity result is we can even send the data using intent as a result therefore instead of start activity call we need to call start activity for result although this api is deprecated now and i think this is the right time to show you all the latest code so just keep watching till the end of this video because i'm going to talk about how to implement activity result launcher api to launch the activity hi my name is suvajit and i make videos on android app development so guys if you haven't subscribed this channel yet then please do subscribe and hit the like button that encourages me to make more content anyway let's get started all right as you can see i have already created two activities called main activity and result activity also if i show you the corresponding xml files you can see in our activity main.xml i have added a text view and a button let's open this activity result.xml here i have added one edit text and one button also i have initialized these views in java c basically i have done all the basic stuff so that we can only focus on our topic anyway guys first of all we need to create an instance of activity result launcher so i'm going to create a variable outside of on create activity result launcher angle bracket then here we have to pass intent let's call this variable as activity launcher equal to register for activity result then inside this parenthesis new activity result contracts dot start activity for result then comma new activity result callback hit the tab and semicolon here now let's set a log message also log d hit tab so this is for the debugging purpose only okay now we can use this variable to launch the activity but before that we need to create an intent object as we have seen in the last video anyway i'm going to create an intent variable inside this on click method so intent intent equal to new intent then main activity dot this comma then result activity dot class and this time we are not going to call start activity instead we are going to use this variable activity launcher so let's call it activity launcher dot launch and here as the input let's just pass this intent variable perfect 
so whenever we click on this button our result activity will be launched and as soon as we go back to the launcher activity this method on activity result will be fired up every time because our launcher activity is nothing but this main activity however it could be any activity okay anyway i'll just go ahead and run this code on my emulator okay now if i click on this get result button you can see this is our result activity right but now if i simply press this back button see our result activity is destroyed and the main activity gets visible on the screen so let's open up the lock cat now I'm just going to filter this by tag. Now you can see only these activity logs. And as you can see, this log has been printed from this on activity result. So I'm going to clean up this log cat. Let's launch the result activity again. Now if I press the back button, have you noticed the log cat? Again we got a log message. So the matter of fact is, every time you launch the activity for a result, on activity result will be fired up only when you go back to the parent activity. Simple. But we are not receiving any result from the result activity, right? So in order to receive the result in on activity result method we need to send that from this result activity as well. So let's take a closer look on that area also. As you can see here we also have a button with a click listener. So in this on click method first I'm going to create an intent object. Intent intent equal to new intent now to set the data in intent simply call intent dot put extra then give it a name let's say mm, result now we have to pass a data as well it could be anything and for now I'm going to pass a string like whatever we type in this edit text simply passed through this intent object anyway et message dot get text dot to string finally we must call set result here first we need to pass an unique integer number as a result code let's say 78 then simply pass this intent variable perfect okay one more thing we can do is after setting the result let's say we want to destroy this result activity as well to do so simply call finish or you can press the back button programmatically like this super dot on back press okay now we have to extract this data from this result variable but before that first i will check whether the result code is 78 or something else so if result dot get result code equal to 78 now intent intent equal to result dot get data now to avoid null pointer exceptions simply check if intent not equal to null finally here we can extract the data 
from this intent variable so intent dot get string extra then double quote and here we have to pass um, this name result let's store this in a string variable string let's say data i would also like to set this data to a text view so txt result dot set text and then pass this data perfect so i think this is not such a complex thing but just keep practicing until you get familiar with this anyway guys let's build this project again okay let's launch the result activity let's type some text now press this send result button and here you can see the data so no matter what as long as we use this activity launcher variable to launch an activity this on activity result will be fired up before this activity gets visible again so i think that's it for today guys if you have any questions or suggestions please leave them in the comment section I'll definitely try to address all your queries and if you feel this video helped you a little bit then please hit the like button that encourages me to make more content. Also do subscribe so that you will get notified whenever I publish any new content. So that's all for now. 